Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at December 2018 IVC paper of Mumbai University semester 8 EXTC. The question here is draw the DHCP packet format with reference to this which fields determine the number of hops a packet can travel. The command is request or reply why there is a need of transaction ID apart from IP address and port address. What is the maximum number of seconds that can be stored in the number of seconds field in DHCP packet? Which field determine that the response from server is unicast or broadcast? If DHCP packet is request from client, which fields are used? If DHCP packet is reply message from server, which fields are used? So basically we have to first draw the DHCP packet format and then answer the following questions, some seven questions, okay? So here I have drawn the DHCP packet format. So what we have here is it's of 32 bits, okay? Next we have operation code from 0 to 7 bits, then from 8 to 15 it's hardware type, 16 to 23 it's hardware address length, 24 to 31 it's hops. Next from 0 to 31 that is 32 bits it's transaction ID, 0 to 16 is seconds and 0 to 15 is seconds sorry and 16 to 31 is flags. Next we have client IP address full length, your IP address full length, server IP address full length, gateway IP address full length. And by full length, I mean they are each of 32 bit. Okay. Next is client hardware address that is 16 bytes. Okay. Next is server name 64 bytes, boot file name 128 bytes. And finally, we have options which is of variable size. So, this is my DHCP packet format. Next, let's answer the questions that was asked. So, the first question that was asked, and I have written it down in the description below. So it's hops, the number of hops of a packet can travel. So we had a field in the num in the DHCP packet format of hops, which was from 24 to 31, this one, okay? So the number of hops, also known as the flop count field of eight bits, it tells us the number of hops a packet can travel. The next question was, the command is request or reply. So the operation code field, which is again an 8-bit field, it defines the type of DHCP request, DHCP packet. Either it's a request, so it will be 1, or it's a reply, then it will be 2. Then next question, why there is a need of transaction ID? Well, transaction ID, it is again a 32-bit field, and it is used by client to match responses from servers with previously transmitted requests. What I mean by this is basically it is used to match a reply with the request. So if I have done, if I have made multiple requests, let's say three or four, so each request will have a transaction ID. And when I get a reply from the server, it will again contain that transaction ID. So I have to match the transaction ID to check the response that came was of which request that I made. The next question is, what is the maximum number of seconds that can be stored? So if you remember from the DHCP packet format, the seconds field was of 16 bits. So that means the maximum number of seconds that can be stored will be 2 raised to 16 minus 1. Why minus 1? Because seconds will start from 0. Okay. So that means we can have 65535. That is the num That will be the maximum number of seconds that can be stored. The next is which field determines the response from server is unicast or broadcast. Then the answer for this is that the flags field, it determines whether the response is unicast or broadcast. So if it's zero, it's unicast. If it's one, it's broadcast. Okay. So it will be a total of 16 bits length. That is the flags field of which one bit will be to represent zero or one that is unicast or broadcast and the remaining will be used also. The next is if DHCP packet is request from client, which fields are used? So if it is a request from client, client here data means V, okay? So if it's a request by us, then first the operation code needs to be request. That means it needs to be one. Next, we need to also give 
your IP address that is my IP address okay other fields will also be used but then these are the two major things then next is if DHCP packet is re reply message from server which fields are used so if it's a reply message then the operation code needs to be 2 that is reply or response and then there also will be server IP address so this was all about the December 2018 paper see you in the next video thank you